this is our Epstein tester. What we'll do is we'll take sheared pieces of material in both the grain direction, as you can see here, as well as in the transverse direction. And we'll stack them in various sides, making sure that the grain direction parts are on one side with a layer of the cross, and then back to the grain direction, and then back to the transverse direction. So this device is called an Epstein Bridge, and it's essentially four loops. There's, um, if we were to remove this, there's uh, lengths of coiled wire all throughout here. And essentially what we'll be doing is we'll be inputting certain parameters in terms of what the magnetic flux density is, what frequency, um, and exciting it to certain power and current. And then there'll be a receiving end, and we'll be receiving in what power and current we measure. And with the mass that I'd already weighed, that allows us to tell both the core loss, permeability, and a few other magnetic properties of the material. So what I'm doing here is I'm just loading the apparatus, alternating between the transverse direction and the grain direction of the material. Make sure everything is nicely aligned and seated correctly. We can test at both 50 and 60 hertz. And we can test at any range between 4 kilogauss up to 18 kilogauss. For this test, I'll pick the standard 15 kilogauss. My weight is already entered, and my density is already entered, and the test will start running. You'll see here a calculated voltage versus what our actual measured voltage is. And once the test is complete, all the parameters will be filled in and we'll be looking specifically at the watts per pound core loss as well as various permeability numbers. 